Thank you, Mr. Mike. Tell okay. What are you going to show us in Shekla New? I'm going to show you the Flotec tripods. So last year we launched the Flotec 75, a 75 millimeter tripod. And based on the same technologies, we now have the Flotec 100 with an even higher payload. So the benefit of the Flotec really are these, the handles all here at the top of the tripod next to your camera, your expensive camera, which is where the money is. So you keep your hands here and you can quickly go to the full height and lower again. And this one, with this tripod, you can also use it as a very low tripod. Oops, oh, I can go even lower. And it can come up. So without a spreader, you can use the, the tripod and you can then quickly go up to full height. What's the full height? The full height is just over 1.5 meters. So it's made from these carbon fiber sections that are unique, incredibly strong, incredibly strong in torsion, very, very tough. But in addition, when you carry this over your shoulder, it's very comfortable. So if you have, if you have to take this a long way, you carry it on your shoulder, it is very comfortable. Can you show me on your shoulder? Yeah. Yeah, so on your shoulder, just, just make yeah. it. So because this is curved, it yeah. doesn't hurt your shoulder. It doesn't dig into your shoulder, it's a larger section. So it's a larger section than the traditional tubes that I used um, in a tripod. Can you, can you show me how, how the lever works? So you just flick the lever, and that releases both brakes, but it will extend first the midsection and then the lower section. So you've always got the maximum strength and rigidity as you deploy the tripod. And this is the only lever in the entire tripod? That's it. One for each leg and that's it. You do not. So when you have your expensive camera here, you do not have to reach down to make adjustments. Normally you're down here and here, normally six. Here you can do it with two hands immediately to reposition to whatever height you wish. And what's the benefit for that for a cameraman? It's saving time during the day. The biggest one is saving time for yeah, lots of different back. shops, so probably saving your back, um, and it's just the ease of doing that. And the security, your hands are close to your camera, which is where the valuable part is. So you don't have to take your hands away from there. It will protect your camera at all times, in whatever, however tough the conditions are that you're shooting. Secondly, I, I see in this design, uh, tell me a cameraman who has not pinched his, his finger and it's almost no, no way yeah, to pinch. Yeah, there isn't. So if you, often when you close your tripod, you pinch your fingers. You cannot pinch your fingers in this and it's held very simply with magnets. So it will stay together, unless you really hit it. So it's much better for, for your fingers. Talk about the weight. So the weight, it's very light. I think this is three kilos in weight. Um, and taking a payload of 30 kilos. So you can, you could, this will take a payload of 30 kilograms. Um, but it weighs just over three, and very, very light to carry. The 100 millimeter comes with the carrying handle. So just again makes it very easy. Especially when the head is fitted, it's very balanced. I Very see easy. the wind tin as a, a same design, wind tin and same design shaft. Yeah. So we sell the same tripod in both brands. And fundamentally they are the same technology, the same design. Um, and you can choose Vinton or Zachla. It depends on your dealer and on your market. So can you show me the 75 millimeter? Sure. Advantage? So again, the, the technology works in exactly the same way. So your hands at the top, to deploy the tripod. I will try, I will try and show you the low position better than I did with the 100. So if you go down to the lowest position, lock it off, switch off all the locks and go flat to the floor. So 
there's the tripod now, ready to go. A very stable platform at a very low level. No need to have a baby tripod with you. It will do everything. So there is enough space to rotate the yeah, ball? To fit the, uh, to fit the connector. Can, can you, can you just show yeah, you can fit it under there um, very easily. And that will take the full payload and you have a very stable platform. Another advantage is of the feet. Yeah, on so this, they're very, very easy to... On some of them, you had to fight in the past to remove the foot. Now, it's very, very simple to remove or to refit without hurting your fingers and it, it getting them... Yeah, yeah, certainly. So very easy, just flick this off and the foot is removed. And it's back in position. So it's all about being easy for the cameraman to do different things different positions, different heights, and the, the 100 millimeters, 30 kilograms, so they have that different range. And each, each leg is designed to take 20 kilograms of load. So you can test each leg independently, and you can apply 20 kilograms of load to each leg. So it's designed, it's over-engineered, it will support the load very, very safely and securely. And over time, if that needs to be adjusted, over the years, there's a simple adjustment here to adjust the brake force on each leg. The, mm. the function of this switch? Sorry? The function of this switch? This was the, if, if you're not using a spreader, this, this locks it into one of the three positions. Mm. There. <coughs> so if you want to change the position, you have to, this is in the, that's the most up, upper position. So you have to take it, do it, there, and then it can go down, right down to that lowest position. And so that goes to the low and moves up Oops. and locks in the different positions. So this is the new spreader for the 100 millimeter. It's using carbon fiber, the same as the leg of the tripod. But on here, you can adjust it to different heights. Right. Can you fix it? Yeah. can set it to different positions. You have to remove the pressure and that's the widest position. But then you can go wider with the legs. So if you want a very stable position at different heights. Can you talk about this is how many sections inside this in uh, carbon fiber? It's, it's two, each one is made of two layers of carbon fiber um, and then we impregnate the resin to make it rigid. We make this in our own factories. So this is two layers, this has two more layers of carbon and the lower piece, because it's very small, has three layers of carbon fiber to make it extra strong. And total weight of this hundred? So it's just over three kilograms, I believe. It's very similar in weight. It just fe it feels smaller because it's more comfortable to carry. So it's similar to the other carbon fiber tripods, but it has all this extra functionality within the same weight. So that's its advantage. And uh, how is the response till now? Very, very good. So the hundred, the factory is working seven days a week to make this. Um, the 75 millimeter was launched a year ago incredibly well selling very well and now we're introducing the 100 millimeter which will start shipping this month so the response has been incredible very very positive any possibility to further lighten it because there's many small cameras coming up now further reducing the size a bit mm -hmm. for smaller cameras i think 
immediately no, but over time we could. We could look to make it a slightly smaller section with lower specifications. But Zachlo's traditionally made the 75mm very strong tripod, so that's where we've started. Um, who knows what comes next? We're going to build on this technology even more with the heads and with the tripods as well. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. You're very welcome.